supermoon to light up the night sky on December 3rd. On December 3rd, 2017, the world will be able to see a supermoon. During a supermoon event, the lunar body can become bigger and up to 30% brighter. This is because the moon orbits closer to the Earth than it does in a regular orbit. NASA advises that a supermoon is best viewed outside a city as powerful urban lights can diminish how bright it actually is. Are you going to watch the cosmic event unfold? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more on the Earth's lunar satellite. Anybody up for some lunar cave diving? Scientists this week may have come across something that could lead to the first ever human outpost in space. A large and cavernous lava tube was this week confirmed to exist beneath the surface of the moon. These tubes are volcanic underground passages formed by flowing lava to funnel this substance. Once the flow stops, the tube remains with features similar to a cave. The discovery was made by a team of Japanese and American scientists who used data from the Selene and Grail spacecraft to acoustically map the enormous lava tube. The chasm is around 100 meters wide and 50 kilometers long and located in the Marius Hills region of the celestial body. It could provide shelter to astronauts during moon missions, protecting them from dangerous cosmic radiation. This could potentially allow for the development of a lunar exploration base. And that moon-based Homo sapiens could very well lead to a human colony. Look who's going back to the moon. The Indian Space Research Organization has announced plans to send a rover to the moon early next year, nearly a decade after its first lunar journey met with mixed success. The spacecraft for India's Chandrayaan-2 moon mission is comprised of an orbiter, a lander, and a rover, which will first slingshot around Earth before going into lunar orbit. The lander will attempt a controlled or soft landing near the moon's south pole, while the orbiter travels around the moon. Once on the surface, the lander will take thermal measurements and deploy the six-wheeled rover to explore the lunar terrain. Among the things the mission will pay close attention to are abrasive particles known as lunar dust, which pose a significant challenge to human colonization of the moon. The Chandrayaan-2 will be carried into space by the GSLV Mark II rocket and is scheduled to launch from an island in the Bay of Bengal in March 2018. India will carry out the final testing phase for the spacecraft in the coming weeks. The program's budget for the mission is relatively small, at only $93 million. We're going back to the moon. Aerospace companies United Launch Alliance and Bigelow Aerospace are collaborating to put a space station in orbit around the moon. The Lunar Depot plan is aimed at placing a Bigelow B-330 inflatable habitat in low lunar orbit by the end of 2022. ULA's Vulcan rocket will launch the B-330 into lower Earth orbit, where it will stay for about a year. While there, the habitat will receive supplies and get crew members rotated every few months. Two more Vulcan rockets will then be launched and their upper stages left in orbit. After propellant from one stage is transferred to the other, the fully fueled stage will attach the B-330 and propel it to its final position orbiting the moon. The companies claim the habitat can serve both as a platform for lunar business development and a location for NASA to conduct exploration and astronaut training missions. Other things NASA will be looking at during the Great American Eclipse. NASA is sending jets to get a closer look at the eclipse when it takes place later this month. Two NASA planes will fly from St. Louis to Nashville during the solar eclipse in the U.S. on August 21st. The high-altitude planes will be equipped with equipment to carry out special research on the sun. According to NASA, they'll use high-speed cameras in an attempt to photograph nano flares and their impact on the sun's corona. The space agency says they'll also take the opportunity to create a thermal map of the planet Mercury. NASA says the mission during the eclipse could provide some of the clearest images of the sun's outer atmosphere so far.